All right, what I like to do is I like to show you guys how to solve a multi-step equation when you have fractional exponents, or I'm sorry, fractional coefficients. That means the number in front of your variables is fractions. Um, guys, the main important thing when I say first step is to simplify. That means you get rid of what's on your, get rid of at what's your fractions. Um, so, guys, there's two different ways to do this. One thing is you could simplify and get rid of the fractions. That's gonna, I'm gonna show you guys one way. I'm gonna do this twice. Okay? You guys can get rid of the fractions. How do you get rid of the, how do you get rid of the fraction? You multiply by what's on the bottom. So, what's on the bottom of this denom what's the denominator for my fraction? What's my denominator? Three. three. So multiply three. by three times everything. And I'm gonna put it as a fraction because I'm multiplying across. Therefore I get um, the threes cancel out, so I'm left with two B minus eighteen equals eighteen, and those cancel out um, minus two B. Right? Now get the variable on the same side. Add 2b to both sides. Now everybody should be able to know what I'm doing here. 4b minus 18 equals 18. Two-step equation. Add 18 to both sides. 4b equals 36. Divide by 4. v equals 9. So. All you guys gotta do is forget about the fractions and just multiply by what's on the bottom or multiply by the reciprocal. Either way, get rid of the fraction. However, guys, you don't even have to do this. This, is, this already has, the other thing I like about this problem is that you have like denominators. So therefore, you guys can do the work. Let's do the work with fractions. Why can't we add a 2 thirds V? Yes? Not right now. I'm instructed. Hold on. You have negative two-thirds V. You have to add two-thirds on both sides. So why can't you guys do that? We already learned how to add, right? You add your two-thirds V on both sides. Therefore, now I get four-thirds V. Minus six equals six. Add the six to both sides. Therefore, I get four-thirds V equals equals 12. Now, hold on one second. So guys, now what I have to do, what's happening to my variable? Somebody raise their hand, please tell me what's happening to the variable. Please, what is happening to the variable? What is that 4 thirds doing to the variable? Yes. It's multiplying by 4 thirds. So we have to divide by 4 thirds. But we don't ever divide our fractions, do we? Instead of dividing by fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So I just multiply by the reciprocal, and therefore you get v equals 12, I'll put it over a frac, put it over 1, 12 times 3 is 36, 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Yes, your question? Can you No. So that is how you solve a multi-step equation.